My taste buds went on a journey. We're having dessert for breakfast because I want to. Tokyo Disney Resort is having its first full seasonal event, the first time in two years. And today we're at Tokyo Disneyland where we're gonna check it all out. Hey fellow explorers, my name is Chris, AKA TDR Explorer. And if you're new to this channel, I'm a Canadian living here in Japan and I keep you updated on the theme parks and travel within this beautiful country. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos and also give this a like because it really does help us out. Tokyo Disney Resort is having its first full event in two years here at Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. The Totally Mini event, which is running January 18th until March 30th, 2022, and it features our queen, Minnie Mouse. There is food, there is merchandise, there is entertainment, and we're going to check all that out today, and I am really, really looking forward to it. Today, we're just going to be at Tokyo Disney Sea because Anya passes are still not back yet, so I can't just pop between Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. We'll have to do that in a, another video. To give you a little bit of context, today is January 17th, so the event officially doesn't start until tomorrow, but they've released the food and the merchandise today. And also, typically what they do the day before the event officially starts, they'll have a sneak preview of the entertainment, so we're gonna be checking that out today. I checked the schedule and it starts at 10, and also, it also goes again at, I think, two or something like that. It's the, the greeting parade with Minnie Mouse. That's enough talking. Let's head inside. Let's buy some stuff. Let's eat some stuff. Let's scream at Minnie because she's so fabulous. We love her. <laughs> I love this. I'm sat down in front of, what, Peter Pan? Yeah. And Haunted Mansion's right there. I have my leisure sheet, the 20th anniversary leisure sheet, so I'm sitting on it here. Really cute. So when you're sitting for parades, get a leisure sheet so you don't have to sit on the, the ground. Everybody does it. It's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay. So I did everything really quickly, so I didn't have time to record everything. But um, So I, I loaded up the Tokyo Disney Resort app. I've talked about this in other videos and stuff, and I'll put a link in the description so you can read more about this. I switched it to English, so it's easier to follow along. But, so for today, I had to get a standby pass for the Gag Factory. And this is for the mini, uh, the new mini merchandise. So they do this when the shops are, they know they're gonna be busy. So you have to have a standby pass, otherwise you cannot get in. Yep. <laughs> and I tried to get a reservation for the Center Street Coffee House to do the Minnie Mouse dessert plate, but uh, they filled up really quickly for today. And for some reason, this is never in English, unfortunately. So they open up reservations at 9 a.m. And yeah, there's no, there's no seats available. I'll keep checking. <gasps> Wait, oh my goodness, it opened up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 11.50. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, let me do this really quickly. <laughs> We're back. Okay. So I did a reservation for Center Street Coffee House at 11.50. I had to change my Gag Factory reservation because they were really close together. And um, because I have... Club Mouse Speed at, uh, well, admission starts at 11.05, but it starts at 11.35. And then as soon as it's done, I have to book it to Center Street Coffee House. And then my standby pass for this was overlapping, so I canceled it and made a reservation for this time. And I also did the standby pass for Beauty and the Beast because I want to do that later. Yeah, so there's a couple of things. So standby pass. Um, there's attractions and shops that need a standby pass, meaning there's no standby line and you have to get this pass. It's free. There's no fast passes or standby line, so you have to get this. So think of it, best way to think of it is it's a fast pass. The, the, getting the fast pass is the only way to ride the ride. That's probably the best way to think of it. Eh, I know it's confusing. And then entry request. Basically, is a lottery. 
That's what I had to do for Club Mouse Beat. So I had to pick a time, a performance, and then it tells me if I get to watch it or not. And then do this for certain character greetings and stuff too. I need to do a full video on this, but yeah, that's kind of a really quick overview. You can download it ahead of time and um, yeah, play around with it. I also got a return time. I know there's so many different procedures, it's kind of overwhelming. So Treasure Comet is the small shop in Tomorrowland and they have the Minnie Mouse gachapons, the little capsule toys. And so I got this around eh, 9.15 and my return time is at 7 o'clock tonight. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Tokyo Disneyland. In 15 minutes on the parade route, we will proudly present Minnie and Friends Greeting Parade, Totally Minnie Mouse. Inspired by Minnie's lively and cheerful personality, this greeting features music from the popular show, Minnie Oh Minnie. That's Minnie and Friends Greeting Parade, Totally Minnie Mouse, beginning in 15 minutes. Please keep an adequate distance from other parties around you while watching the parade. Thank you. Ah, uh, there are my boys. <laughs> Those are their outfits from the Minio Mini show. The show's gone now. I didn't think I'd see these costumes ever again. Hi, Donald. There she is, our queen. That was really fun. I enjoyed that. What they're doing for this event is every few weeks they're actually swapping out Minnie's costume with a different costume from a previous show. So here at Disneyland, um, I have a cheat sheet here. So between uh, January 18th to February 13th, it's Minnie O'Mini, which you just saw. And over at Disney Sea, because they're doing the same event over there, for the same time period, for the Harbor greeting, they're doing Minnie Mouse from A Table is Waiting. So you get to see costumes from that. And based off of what I just saw today, I guess there's going to be other characters too in their costumes from those shows. That is really awesome. I know, um, you know, with what's happened in the last two years, I'm guessing budgets are cut and stuff like that. And you know what? I'm okay with them recycling the music and the costumes from these shows that we can't see anymore. It makes me so happy. It's so nostalgic and it's quite clever if you think about it. And the winter time is usually pretty like slow so it kind of makes sense anyway moving on february 14th the march 1st is disney princess day so she's going to be in a princess outfit here at disneyland over disney sea is oh this makes my heart so happy the tokyo disney sea seasons of heart of the heart and valentine nights that valentine nights used to be a show uh, that you paid extra for at the big Ben beat theater and she has this gorgeous dress on and Mickey has a really wonderful like purple costume. Oh, it was so good. I, I really have to come back and see see that at Disney Sea. And then from March 2nd to March 30th, here at Disneyland is Disney Matsuri. Disney Natsu Matsuri, which is Disney Summer Festival. So she'll be in her summer outfit from the Disney Natsu Matsuri show a few years ago. And then over at Disney Sea, it's gonna be Minnie's Tropical Splash, which, oh my goodness. Tropical Splash was such a fun show. R ridiculous. Both like both the, s the summer shows were fun. So yeah, uh, they're rotating through these costumes every few weeks here during the duration of the event, which I think, I, again, like I said, I think it's so, so clever. <laughs> okay, what, what do we got to do next? I'm going to pull up my app here. Um, so I have about an hour, so... Club Mouse Speed is not until 11, and then I have my Center Street Coffee House reservation at 11.50. Uh, in my gig factory, the shop is not until this afternoon. Same with Enchanted Tale Beauty and the Beast. So you know what, maybe we'll go see if we can try some of the desserts. Let's have about an hour. Try some of the mini desserts. Let's go do that. We're having dessert for breakfast because I want to. We're here at the Hungry Bear restaurant where I'm trying all these different desserts. So if you've watched my other videos before for food, you know that there's a lot of desserts with souvenir plates and this event is no different. So first up, we're trying the mixed berry cake here. And 
It has Minnie Mouse's bow on it, and there's mixed berry, and there's also this plate, this Minnie Mouse plate, and it's ceramic, and it's beautiful, it's wonderful, and it comes with bubble wrap, so you can wrap it up as well. It smells very sweet. There's a lot of berries going on. It tastes like raspberry, strawberry, and probably blueberry. Okay, this is not bad. I'm not sure what the icing on the top is. Probably raspberry. White chocolate on the top. So you can see here, the different layers. Mmm, that's actually quite lovely. Next, we're trying this raspberry mousse as I'm holding up the cup. It comes with a souvenir cup with Minnie Mouse on it. Again, it's ceramic. And it comes with bubble wrap, so you can wrap it up. And this is what the raspberry mousse looks like. So very similar to the cake, but it's mousse. And if you watched all my, my videos for the last like five years, you know how much mousse I've eaten here. They, they love a mousse. So let's try this out. Ooh, ooh. There's some jelly on the top. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, that is definitely raspberry. It's very refreshing. I believe that's raspberry mousse. Got some jello. Jelly. I like the mousse better than the cake. <laughs> mm. Mm. We still got some time before my club mouse beef and my reservation for the dessert at the Coffee Street, Center, Center Street Coffee House. So we got some time. Maybe we'll go on some rides. Maybe we'll check out some other merchandise. We'll see where the day takes us. Here's the bubble wrap that they give you, right? So you can just slide it right in, like so. There you go. It's wrapped up all nicely, and then we got the club, club. <laughs> I just invented a word. The club, <laughs> cup, and it just goes in here. And there you go. There you go. Beautiful, perfect. We love it. We love to see it. I forgot to bring my water bottle today. I was kind of in a rush this morning, so we're gonna buy some water here. All the vending machines are themed, so this is in Adventureland, Westernland. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they have exclusive uh, artwork on the bottles. This is really good. The lychee, lychee salt drink is really good. And so is the Kitty and Lemon. Milk tea. Yeah, so these are hot drinks. These are cold drinks, so blue is cold, red is hot. It says Atatakai, which means hot. And it says sumetai, which means cold. I don't really want... I'm going to get tea. Green tea, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, it's cashless. So I'm going to use cashless today. And... Dun, da, da. Yes. I'm heading to Club Mouse Beat, the show that's in the Showbase Theater here. I've never actually seen it before because I've lost the lottery every single time I've tried it. This time, I've won. So we're going to see it. This replaced One Man's Dream 2 uh, a while back, and I yeah, still haven't seen it yet. So we're going to head inside and watch this. And then after that, we're going to go get some dessert <laughs> because I need more dessert in my life, apparently. Club Mouse Beat was a lot of fun. I don't think it was as good as One Man's Dream 2. But the music was catchy, and I loved that they have Goof Troop in there. <laughs> Goofy movie. Uh, I love that part. That's probably my favorite part. And the part with Club Villains, <laughs> that's such a Tokyo Disney thing. It really, that, that, the show does scream Tokyo Disney, though. It certainly does. No doubt about it. Okay, I'm a few minutes late for my reservation at the Center Street Coffee House, but we're gonna head on over there so we can Get my Minnie Mouse dessert plate on. <laughs> Here we have the Minnie Mouse dessert plate. And it looks delicious and also very adorable and cute. 
So first we have the Strawberry Mont Blanc with mini silhouette on there. Looks like she's wearing a puffy dress. And then we have a lemon mascarpone macaron with a bunch of stuff. Looks like strawberries and marshmallows and some custard. And then we have a strawberry tart. That is so adorable. And then we have a mixed berry float. Looks very sweet. I love the Center Street Coffee House. This is where they also have the the curry and the mini French toast and everything. Okay, it's gonna be a little hard to record me eating this just because of this plastic partition. They have them on all the tables. Yeah, so we're gonna have fun recording this one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the Mont Blanc first. I don't know which utensil to use. I'm gonna go with the fork? Uh, let's go with the fork on this one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at the inside. Look at that. Yum with the strawberries. Oh. It's very creamy. I'm not usually a big fan of Mont Blanc. Usually because it's done with like chestnut. Mmm. It's not overly sweet. I really like that. And the strawberry is not super potent. Yeah, it has like little strawberry bits in here. Thumbs up on this one. Next, we'll try the tart. Look at that. Ooh, there's some custard in there. Oh, it was held down by some icing or something. And we still got some strawberries here. We all know what strawberries taste like. I want to try this. I am curious about this. Let's try this out. It's a very light custard. Not bad. It's almost too subtle in flavor for me. I'm gonna try it with the, the tart part. Okay, not bad. I like the Mont Blanc better so far. So there's the macaron and all the stuff inside. <laughs> oh, okay, this look, looks like there's different marshmallows in there. Not sure. But the macaron looks nice. Let's, let's give this a try. Yum, yum. Ooh, that is very strawberry. You can definitely taste the Mars Capone in there. Ooh, it's very sweet. That's really nice. That's really nice. The yeah, outside's a little crunchy. Inside, sticky. Tastes like strawberries. It's wonderful. I'll try what's in side inside here strawberry and I'm guessing the vanilla because you can see the little bits there ooh that is delicious that is divine mm. okay this is definitely the best of the desserts so far the presentation is Magnificent and the flavor. Ugh. Okay, so the red balls are like little puffs. I don't know how to describe them. I've never really had something like this before. It's like almost like cereal, but softer. Strawberry cereal. And marshmallow, yeah. Next, we're gonna try the mixed berry soda with mini. And it looks like there's sherbet on there. Some straw strawberries I guess it's all mixed so let's give this a try oh boy I'm trying to I don't want to over full mmm <laughs> there's a lot going on there's like crunchy bits in it and jelly all I can taste is berry I can't really distinguish anything it's very sweet as Minnie's ear looks like a chocolate I think it's a strawberry chocolate. There's a lot of citrus, a lot of strawberry stuff going on, a lot of berries. Not citrus, berries. Ooh. It's raspberry. It's a raspberry sherbet. And that's lovely. I like the sherbet on the top. I'm not sure about the rest of it. There's a lot, you know, there's just a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, you can see it there. Presentation is fantastic. Not my favorite drink, but I do like the raspberry 
sherbet on the top. I have my standby pass for the Disney & Co. gifts. So we're gonna check out the Minnie Mouse merchandise. I know I got one for the Gag Factory in Toontown as well. I just kind of grabbed what I could. It's not too much merchandise, but the display is really cute. Totally Minnie Mouse. <laughs> so they're releasing some of it now, and then some of it's coming out in February. So this is like a little lunch tote case. <laughs> totally Minnie Mouse. Let's see all the different costumes. So these are the costumes that she's going to be wearing throughout the event. So the one that we saw today was... Where is it? Oh, this one. Over here. This, we saw this one from it's from Mini O Mini. And Princess Days. Natsu Matsuri. A table is waiting. Tropi Mini's Tropical Splash. Valentine Nights. Ugh. That's really nice. And this is Chocolate Crunch. There's little chocolates inside. 1600 yen for that. Moving over here. We have some trading cards. Which are these? 800 yen for a pack. So one pack has six cards. All right, that's cool. And we have a postcard collection. This I really like. So the postcards. Uh, it's 1500 yen. I remember for conversion, drop the last two digits, and that's roughly how much it is in dollars, like American dollars, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars, Singapore dollars. Just a very quick, rough conversion. And so we have the different artwork with her and her different costumes. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm going to have to get this because I collect postcards because they're easy to store. And also, oh, ooh, my love. Clear files. You all know how much I love my clear files. So it's the same artwork as the postcard, so 1800 yen for this. Oh. oh, is there more? Wait. More poses? Wait, no, yes, no. Oh, the images are repeating. <laughs> I got really excited. Oh. oh. Do I want the postcards or do I want the clear files? I don't know. I don't know what a dilemma. <laughs> oh, that's really lovely. And again, this is hard to do one-handed. I'm trying not to, I don't want to rip it either. Some can badges, some buttons. Those are fun. 2,000 yen for that. So you can see the little pins on the back here. Aw. And drawstring bags. There's three? Yeah, there's three inside. Okay. And they have all her outfits. One on each side. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. I decided to get the postcards. <laughs> so they give you this ticket when you come in uh, because they don't want people buying up everything. I think it's, it's a little... This one is... The mini stuff is one per person. One item for these items may purchase up to one per shop so we can buy this by one item i'm okay with that because that's all i want there's also a big shopping bag that you can buy so for pretty much every event they have these special shopping bags you can buy they have generic ones that you can buy anytime like there it's a tote bag and they're pretty big you can see yeah it holds quite a bit my backpack's in there actually just to kind of show you also to keep it shape <laughs> But this is the Totally Mini Mouse, so the exact same design as the little tote bag I showed you earlier. This is 920 yen, so it's about nine dollars, nine US dollars. It's perfect if you're buying a lot of stuff. And it's actually, this is perfect for carry-on to take home. So if you have like a lot of plushes or small items, they can fit in here and you can squish them. And this will fit perfectly when you fly home. So I'm in Toontown and I have my standby pass for the Gag Factory. I think it's the Gachapon that I got a ticket for earlier at the Cosmic Place, Treasure Comets. I don't know. I really, 
I feel like I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> uh, they keep changing things. So I'm going to try that. See what it is. Because maybe it's the mini the mini gachapons. Mini mouse ones. Because I know that's what they have at the Treasure treasure Comet. Comet Treasure. Treasure Comet. Whatever. Uh, let's go find out. Alright, I was wrong. It's just for the mini mer mini mouse merchandise. Mini Merce. <laughs> the mini Merce. <laughs> mini mouse merchandise. This is... Uh, this has been around for a while. All right. Oh, but they have the cushion that was sold out in the other store that I was in. Oh, so, so there's a Minnie Mouse pillow. Aw, that's nice. It's kind of, the fabric is tough. Like it's not really soft to touch. Still, it's a nice pattern. All right, I'm not buying anything, so I guess I'll leave. She's looking into your soul. <laughs> uh, this is a curtain. A big old curtain. Oh my goodness. It has yeah, different designs on it. Ooh, it's heavy. It's 10,000 yen, so it's about $100. Ooh, I'm trying not to drop it. Not that it's breakable, but I don't want to drop it. Okay. Ooh, it's a lot for a curtain. I forgot to mention, this is actually my first visit of 2022. I forgot to mention it at the top of the video. <laughs> Completely it slipped my mind entirely. And I love this mask holder. I got the mask holder at Disney Sea at Casbah uh, Food Court. I think they have it in multiple places, but this is, that's where I got it. I think it's like a thousand yen or something like that. I like to use it when I'm in the parks, taking my mask off and on so I don't have to like shove it in my pocket and stuff. Anyway, we are eating more sweets. So over at the refreshment corner, they have this mini, mini, I was gonna say a mini salad, it doesn't sound right. This mini, mini mouse fruit sandwich. Yep. Minnie Mouse fruit sandwich. Look at that. Look at that. So on it, there are strawberries, there are oranges and chocolate and some whipped cream and a big bun. <laughs> what, okay, what, what is with me in these videos and having stuff shoved in buns? Like my Universal videos eating Santa's sausage in a bun. Now I'm having a mini mouse. This is just a carb. This is a carb bun. And also I got a there's a tapioca drink as well. The tapioca drink is strawberry and yogurt. Now there are there's a souvenir lunch case which I did not get, but it did look really cute. I just I don't need it. <laughs> and there's also a, a tumbler, which was also available at, at other places as well. So you can get those for an extra cost if you want to. But I'm just I'm just here for the food. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's this is gonna get messy, I feel. Oh, and there's custard inside. <laughs> My taste buds went on a journey. Delicious strawberry with some chocolate. Sweet chocolate. And whipped strawberry whipped cream, I think it is. And then custard, followed by the bun. The bun is actually really sweet and soft. It works. It really works. You can get these kind of carb-loaded fruit sandwiches at like 7-Eleven, the grocery store. They're quite common in Japan, but this is like, you know, the Disney twist on it. The custard's really good. There's like a small rind on it. Mini, your fruit sandwich is divine. It is delicious. Look at that. Oh. Let's wash it down with more sugar. It doesn't really mix though. It just kind of sits at the bottom anyway, so. Oh no, it mixed pretty decently. Strawberry tapioca, I think. I can't tell. Mm. 
Ooh, and the yogurt just hit. Ooh. Okay, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be super sweet. It is not. Mmm. I think on the top was like shaved chocolate or something. This whole set. Delicious. Mmm. I didn't think I was going to eat this whole thing, but I am. That was delicious. Delicious. So good. Yes. Now, I'm going to go ride Beauty and the Beast because I got my standby pass. And we're going to ride that. La Tavern de Gaston and Le Fous. I've had that food a few times. I have a video showing all that food if you want to go back and watch it. I shot that, oh my goodness, in 2020. Can you believe it's 2022? Boy. Anyway, uh, getting in line. I have my standby pass for Beauty and the Beast. I love the fog. It's so spooky. Absolutely stunning. I can't believe this is an attraction that exists. Look at that. Ugh. I can't wait for you to be able to come in and experience this. I say it every time I get off the ride. It is wonderful. And so is this exit. Ah. Uh, let's look at the wait times. So the wait times are low across the board. It is very quiet. Five minutes, five minutes. That's Monsters Inc., Star Tours, Space Mountains, 15 minutes. Got the standby pass for Beauty and the Beast so they don't show wait time. Pretty much five minutes for everything in Toontown. Roger Rabbit spends 10 minutes. What's this one? Oh, Minnie's house. <laughs> Uh, five minutes, five minutes across the board here almost. It's Small World's only five minutes. Haunted Mansion's 13, Splash Mountain's 15, Big Thunder is 10? Big Thunder is 10. Sorry, I changed it back to Japanese, I just realized that, sorry. Uh, yeah. Anyway, very low wait times across the board and not very many standby passes are turned on. So standby passes for Baymax, Be Beauty and the Beast, and Way of the Pooh, which I'm supposed to be doing right now. I need to go there right away. After waiting hours, my time has come for the Minnie Mouse Gacha Pond. It's over there. So there's a total of six, and it's all the different costumes in the event. So they're 500 yen each. We're going to try twice. <laughs> There's one and one more. Aw, she's so pretty. There's a change machine too if you need change. Okay. All right, let's go check them out. Okay, so I got this one is uh, Minnie Mouse and her. <gasps> a table's waiting outfit. Yes. We'll take them out in a second. And this would be her tropical splash outfit. Okay, let's open these up. There, oh, okay, it's perforated at the top. Beautiful. Oh, the capsule's even themed. Totally Minnie Mouse. It's a twist. 
Or is it no twist? Aww. Look at that! Look at this! Aww, that is... That is really cute! Aww. I love it. There's a little heart. Can't really see it, but... Tokyo Disney Resort on one side was the other. Yeah, I'm guessing it's totally Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Yeah, totally Minnie Mouse. Oh, that is really adorable. Oh, come on, yes. Okay, let's try the other one. I learned my lesson the first time. Oh, that's much easier. <laughs> yep. Minnie's Tropical Splash. That is adorable. Oh, worth it. I noticed there were holes on the top of these. A little hard to see there, but yeah, you can see there's holes. I think it's, you're, you can do this. The chain goes through the top and then you can close it. And then it's protected. How clever is that? Oh, I love that. <laughs> As I shake it around. Beautiful. Totally Minnie Mouse. What a wonderful first day back here at Tokyo Disneyland for 2022. I had a lot of food, as you saw, and I got to see Minnie Mouse in her outfit from Minnie on Minnie, plus my boys, and I rode a lot of attractions. So out of all the food that I ate today, which would you like to try? Let me know in the comments below with the keyword, Minnie. Does that make sense, right? <laughs> and here is my pro tip for today. If you stick around closer to closing time, like right now, they may turn off the standby pass for some attractions. So tonight, they actually turned it off for Pooh's Honey Hunt. They didn't turn it off for Beauty and the Beast or Baymax, but they did do it for Pooh's Honey Hunt. So sometimes, the standby attractions, if you wait long enough, if the crowds go down enough, they may turn it off. So make sure to check near the end of the evening. All right, Xmores, that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, keep exploring.